Samsung, HTC, and Sony talk about their Android 4.3 deployment plans. Rumors have it that Samsung is ditching their fingerprint scanner on the Note 3. And Consumer Reports is already questioning the photo quality of the Lumia 1020. I'm Jaime Rivera, and in a perfect world, nobody would ever question smartphone cameras. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the boring, typical news of the LG G2. I mean, we pretty much know everything about this phone, and still company executives believe that we need to know more. We already know that there is an August 7th event happening to launch the phone that we already know about, and apparently it will be available in Asia just a couple of days later, but it won't come to the United States until September, and to Europe until early October. Um, are any of you actually waiting for this phone? Now, in some odd reports, early 2013 was all about IR blasters, and it seems that late 2013 was going to be all about fingerprint scanners, and the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 was going to be the first phone to bring this feature back into smartphones. But apparently, Sammy is ditching the whole project because their vendor is not able to provide as many modules as they need for all the Note 3s that they plan to sell. And how many of you are actually needing this feature right now is my question. Now, if you thought that the Nokia Lumia 625 is the only, quote, big phone that Nokia is working on, well, no. Apparently, the company's got another project up their sleeves with this big, gigantor display being leaked in photos now for a device that apparently will see the light of day sometime in 2014, though we don't know if it'll ever leave the oven, and we don't know if Windows Phone 8 point whatever will ever support it, but stay tuned. And speaking of Nokia, for the record, the Nokia Lumia 1020 is the best smartphone phone camera that we've ever tested, but Consumer Reports seems to disagree. In their unofficial reports, it seems that, well, they're having problems with color accuracy, and also some bluish tint whenever lighting conditions vary, which is kind of interesting since we haven't had that problem, but judging by the fact that Consumer Reports is that company that said that the iPhone 4 was the best smartphone they've ever tested in 2010, and then we had antenna gate problems, uh, whatever. And finally, for the much-anticipated news of the day, OEMs are already discussing Android 4.3 and their update path, and well, Sony has so far confirmed that all their 2013 Lumia lineup, or pretty much all of it, is going to get the update, and that's really sad because we've got some Xperia T's, J's, and others that were launched late 2012 that should be getting the update and won't sadly. Now, Samsung and HTC have also confirmed that select devices will be getting it, but they're not providing a specific list. And don't you just hate how frustrating it can be with Android? But that leads me to the question of the day. What current Android smartphone do you have if you have an Android smartphone? And are you expecting to get Android 4.3 on your device? Do you think that your OEM will support your current device? In my particular case, my Galaxy Note 2 first has to get 4.2.2. Uh, so you can imagine my frustration, but leave us a comment down below. What's your situation? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow. Hey! Se callan. Hey. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow. The dogs didn't bark this time.